Hey guys, my name is Avkarsh and today I decided to have some fun with GPT models. While everybody is waiting for GPT-4, you can start using the GPT-3 model. They are not free, you have to pay them. However, if you would want to experiment, you can get some free credit and you can start using them through the Open AI API registration. There are four different versions of GPT-3. Some of them are higher performance, some of them are designed for cost. So depending on what your requirements are, you can choose one of the model. If you don't wanna do anything, no coding, nothing, you can just roll over to GPT-3 model playground available at this website and start working and start interacting with this model. Here are the options available, parameters to play with, and you can also select which particular model you are interested into. As you know, the GPT model from OpenAI are not available to download or their checkpoints are not available to download like many other CNN models related with image classification. Here you have to use these models only through API. However, if you are looking for open source implementations for the GPT models, you actually can visit a Luther AI project. Lots of great AI researchers are working on this project and here you can get the GPT NeoX. There are a variety of models available but this GPT NeoX 20 billion parameter model, which was available, I think this year, February 2nd, 2022. And you can download this model locally. Make sure you have enough CPU, GPU and RAM because these models tend to have required maybe 24 or 16 gig RAM plus GPU, etc., And a lot more resource capabilities in your local machine or wherever you would want to use these models. You, if you just want to try before buy, the Eludor AI, they have the implementation of the GPT NeoX 20 billion parameter model through the Goose AI website and that implementation is available here. Similar to GPT-3 model, playground with parameters, you can also see the variety of the GPT NeoX models available and the parameters as well. However, so if you are interested to have the GPT NeoX model running locally on your machine, the best option I could suggest you to just visit this Lab ML AI NeoX project, where a very step-by-step -step guide is available for you to implement GPT NeoX model in PyTorch, and you can run in local machine in combination with CPU, GPU, as you could see here, multi-GPU, CPU, GPU, depending on whatever the resources you have. It's a great resource for you to, to get hands-on experience to use one of the available GPT NeoX model and play locally with it. If you would want to just use the playground, there is playground available also. Just visit this Lab ML AI main playground website and here, you can also play with this GPT NeoX model. So now we have three different ways to play with these GPT models. We have Open AI Playground, we have Goose AI Playground, and we also have the GPT NeoX Playground. That if you are interested to learn about these sampling, what these samplings are, what we are seeing here in terms of the parameters here, and penalty, tokenization, everything, I found this article really very really useful. So this article is, is going to help you immensely if you are new to optimizing these models to complete your need. One another important thing when you are using these models, as you know that these, the, the input you are giving has to be tokenized first and then finally uh, it's processed with the model. So if you are interested to learn more about the tokenization in 
GPT-2 or 3 models, I would suggest you to visit the Goose AI platform. They have this tokenizer built into where you could put your text, whatever text you are going to use with this playground, it will help you to learn about the tokenization in your given text based on GPT-2 or the 3 tokenizer. Here, as explained in this documentation, the hamburger world has been split into three different token. If I use a sentence here, for example, I would say this is hello world and depending on these are the four token, these are the three token. If I use my name, it's actually split into five different token. So you can get an idea that how this website is going to be very useful for you to just get an idea the tokenizer how it works so so let's play with model i will start with a very open ended statement so what is life and i have a very different expectation at this point because a very open ended statement very thought provoking answers from open ai now let's use the GPT Neo X 20 billion parameter model. Here the sentence is completed because the model thinks the sentence is not complete. So sentence is completed and then the answer is also given. And it is given based on Bhagavad Gita and as co and quoted by Krishna. If we use this implementation, say what is life and we are just using nucleus sampling and as you could see here this is quite so if your sentence is open-ended you will see variety of answer and what is life without the sentence was not complete so sentence was completed and then the answer was given so you can get an idea that how these GPT models are going to complete the sentence as well as going to give you the results. So let's start with the GPT NeoX implementation and I found this sample Python program type GCD implementation and here is the greatest common divisor is implemented. If I just want to create is true and I'm just passing only a is generating the Python program compare a comma b makes sense so the implementations these are very simple however you can make them even more complex if you'd want to convert chat mode for example I will say hello doctor while we are talking about doctor the references are two with doctors in medicine and the third one is the doctor in technology thought experiment you can say what is life objective let's try this so that's all i had to share with you so so now if you decide to either test the GPT-3 model through OpenAI or you would want to test the open source GPT model, you can try here or you can actually download and run locally and you could test that way. So you have various ways to try these GPT models and get whatever you are looking for. So that's all I had for you in this very short tutorial and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, thank you.